This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some major update to share with you. President Biden says the pandemic is over, but is it true? Joe Manchin now getting his bill tanked by the Republicans. First, it's the Democrats. Now the Republicans are against him. Nobody wants to support Joe Manchin anymore. We'll go over the latest stimulus news like this. Brand new $3,200 direct payment sent out from today, but there's a second exact date you need to know to get the cash. And millions of Americans to receive one-time direct payment from $9.5 million dollar program in less than two weeks. And when it comes to inflation, President Biden says he has it under control, but the Republican perspective is different on that. I'll play a video clip from Republican Senator and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So Republican talking point omits key details about stimulus payments to inmates. I want to get your opinion on this. So we've talked about in the past how stimulus checks have gone to inmates, those who are incarcerated. But uh, basically what this article is about is how now it's midterm season, so all the Democrats are attacking Republicans, Republicans are attacking Democrats. Basically, the negative ads is what sells. Uh, so what it's saying here is how a lot of those, I guess, Republican ads that are attacking Democrats are saying that the Democrats voted for stimulus check bills to go or stimulus checks to go to prisoners. But what it's saying here is that Republicans voted for the same bill that stimulus checks went to inmates. Uh, it was just the third one, the American Rescue Plan, that that uh, that bill alone is the only one Republicans didn't act on that had stimulus checks. The other one and two stimulus checks Republicans did vote for. Basically, that's what this is all about right here. But I'm really curious your opinion on it. Uh, stimulus check to inmates good or bad and should republicans take credit for that too since they did vote for that uh initially uh, let me know your thoughts on that and then uh COVID-19 pandemic is over in the U.S., according to Joe Biden. So this is what he said over the weekend. We're still doing a lot of work on it, but the pandemic is over. And uh, what he said here is, if you notice, no one's wearing masks. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape. I think it's changing. Uh, is it done? Is the pandemic over? Uh, well, technically, I guess, maybe he could say uh, there was no official announcement. People are still getting cases, but it's not as serious as it was before. Are we past it? Can we finally live our lives now? Let me know your thoughts on that. And Republicans are threatening to tank Manchin's pro-oil bill over bad blood from climate deal. So Joe Manchin went out on a limb and gave Democrats their vote on the climate deal, which just passed well, the American Reduction Act. There's a lot of different things in there. And thought that he Joe Manchin would get some support for his pro-oil bill. So, you know, he thought the, the Democrats would then vote for him and he'd have the Republicans on his side, but now the Republicans are threatened to tank Joe Manchin's bill as well. Looks like Joe Manchin getting screwed from both sides. So that's the latest with that. <laughs> Uh, pretty interesting there. And moving on to stimulus news, brand new $3,200 direct payment sent out from today, but there's a second exact date you need to know to get the cash. So this is going on in Alaska. $14.4 billion budget was approved there, and out of it, Alaska's will receive $2,550 from the permanent fund, and then a one-time energy relief payment of $650, and those payments start going out today. September 20th via direct deposit. And if uh, someone in Alaska opted for paper checks, then they go out October 3rd. So big day for stimulus checks in Alaska. And then millions of Americans to receive a one-time direct payment from $9.5 million program in less than two weeks. So these are the gas, gas refund payments uh, available for Californians from October until January of 2023 for those who filed their taxes before 2021. If we go to California's website here, you can see, um, yeah, so it's uh, ftb.ca.gov. Uh, yeah, this is where it's at. You'll uh, When you'll get it, how you'll receive it, what you may receive, and then it goes over the different types of payments that you could get depending on your status, whether married, head of household, single. One thing I thought I found interesting here is that if you make between 150000 to 250000 you actually get 750 and $500 depending on whether or not you have a dependent or not. 
which is, you know, a good amount of money if you make more, up to $250,000. And if you make more than $250,000 to $500,000, then you get $600 with dependent and $400 without a dependent. I didn't really think that someone who made more than $250,000 would need a $600 or $400 check, but maybe I could be wrong. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Is that like a is that justified or should that money just go towards more people who need it more than uh, people who make 250000 uh, Then, yeah, it goes down here. And someone who's single who makes between 125000 and 250000 will get a 400 and $200 check. Uh, if you're curious where you stand on this, uh, you could pause the screen, take a look. Uh, but yeah, these are all the different check payments going out. And when it comes to inflation, President Biden says America will get inflation under control, but it won't be easy. Uh, is that true? Well, would any president of the United States say anything different? Uh, of course, any president would say it's under control. It's tough. We're going to get through it because no one could really control inflation and what's going on right now. So what are your thoughts on that? Could President Biden do something different to help inflation? Well, here is the Republican perspective on what President Biden could do and do differently. Take a look at this. Joining me now, we welcome back Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin, who, at least in some polls, has taken a nice little lead out there in his tough race. Anyway, welcome back, Senator Johnson. Now, sir, I don't think President Biden really agrees with me about checks and balances. Among other reasons, he apparently lives in an alternate universe on inflation. Please listen for yourself. Well, let's put this in perspective. Inflation rate month to month was just, uh, 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 just an inch, hardly at all. You're not arguing that 8.3 is good news. No, I'm not saying it is good news, but it was 8.2 or 8.2 before. I mean, it's not, you're, maybe I can make it sound like all of a sudden, my God, it went to 8.2%. Yeah, well, so, Senator, I thought you might have a thought on that. Things like natural gas prices, electricity prices, grocery prices, services prices. It seems like every, all these prices are going up, even while gasoline prices have gone down. The index is still rising. What do you think? What is about this alternate uh, inflation universe that Mr. Biden is living in? Oh, well, Larry, first of all, it's good to be with you. What I try and point out to people is that a dollar that you held at the start of the Biden administration is now worth only 88.3 cents. So Biden's inflation is crushing every American. It is a Democrat tax on the middle class, but in particular seniors. I mean, think if you were a senior lucky enough to hold $100,000 in a retirement car account at the start of the Biden administration, it's now worth only $88,300. It's like the federal government stole $12,000 out of your savings account, and that's exactly what they did because of their exorbitant and out of control deficit spending, $30.8 trillion in debt. And like you say, there's, they, they have no intention of stopping. They must be stopped. Don't you think, uh, sir, I mean, I, far be it for me to tell you, you've been a successful candidate and you're going to do it again, I'm sure. But don't you think this checks and balance argument is a good argument? It's like three Democratic houses. It's like the left versus the far left. The libs have become even more liberal, et cetera, et cetera. Almost nothing's gone right. I mean, just by itself, regardless of one's political uh, registration and that sort of thing, wouldn't it be wise for the GOP to just talk about the need for checks and balances and stop this crowd from running away with the country? Well, yeah, Larry, I think in all my speeches, I, I go through the list of horribles. Again, the open borders, the deadly drugs, the record or 40-year 40 high, 40 high inflation, record gasoline prices, rising crime, the indoctrination of our children. And then I conclude that with, with saying they must be stopped. Mm. We have to stop these folks because they are destroying this country. Remember, they all, all wanted to fundamentally transform it, right? Their leaders did. I always ask my audiences, do you even like, much less love something you want to fundamentally transform? And now we're seeing what that fundamental transformation looks like. It's fundamentally destroying this country, so no, they have to be stopped. What are your thoughts on that? Do you agree, disagree? Uh, when it comes to economic news, which is what I report here on the channel, looks like only really seeing it from the Republican perspective. A lot of the left-leaning uh, news sites like CNN, MSNBC, uh, those, they don't really report too much, not hearing so much from the Democrat side, which is the reason why I report the Republican side. Just want to give you some uh, updates on that. And uh, yeah, if you appreciate how I get straight to the point, give you the facts, show you the news sources and all that, 
subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, all that YouTube stuff. And to hopefully brighten your day a bit, here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella's tip of the day. I want to tell you that you could be anything that you want in the world. You could be, you could be, you could be, for example, you could be a veterinarian, take care of dogs, help dogs, or you could be a nurse. And you could help people, and you, or you could be a doctor, or you could be like anything, as you want. You are your own self. You could be whatever you want when you get older, if you're older. <laughs> so, bye, that was Bill's tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. Wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing if it wasn't for you, so thank you again for doing that, uh, being a part of the crew, the Wise Flies community. And uh, yeah, Tuesday, really busy day today. Uh, hopefully I make it through it, hopefully you make it through it. Got a lot of kids activities, piano, dance, swim, kickboxing, uh, virtual homeschool class. Uh, yeah, so a lot going on today. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day. If you wanna check out any of my other videos on my other channels, click right up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.